Ooh, science class is about to start. Okay, students, everybody take your seats. Uh, students? <laughs> students? I don't see anybody in my classroom. <laughs> Wait a second. Are we playing hide and seek? <laughs> oh, this is my favorite game. <laughs> Wait, Dr. Science, we're right over here. Aha! I found you. My trusty binoculars always do the trick. All right, now it's my turn to hide, so close your eyes. Woohoo! Yeah, what a great idea, Dr. Science. Let's play games all day. I'll start to count. One, two, three. Wait, Dr. Science! Um, I have a great idea. Why don't we do science class first, and then we can play hide and seek later after class. Ah, yes, uh, science class. <laughs> I almost forgot. Well, now it's time to do the Dr. Science experiment of the day. Now, who would like to be my assistant? Me, me, pick Jimmy. Pick Jimmy, me, 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 pick Jimmy, Jimmy. Uh, Ellie, I'm so glad you raised your hand. <laughs> now, come on up and join me. Huh? Okay, Ellie, now today's experiment is all about balloons. Now, you like balloons? I love balloons. I love water balloons, birthday balloons, oh, and even huge hot air balloons that you can ride on and float into the sky. <laughs> well, today I'm going to show you how to take a little dinky birthday balloon like this and make it big enough for both of us to fly around in. <laughs> wow, this sounds awesome. If you want to see this experiment, give me a big thumbs up. First, we're going to take the balloon, and since it's so small, we're going to stretch it on out. This is going to be awesome. Yes. All done. And then we're going to take Dr. Science's potion and put it on the balloon. <gasps> All right. There's some potion. And now the third step. Dr. Science! Wow. Okay, Ellie, now blow up the balloon and it should grow gigantic even just with a few breaths. I gotta see this. Oh my goodness, I sure hope this works. Let's do this. Here we go. Cool, look at his head. Huh, I don't know if it's working so far. Let's keep going. Oh my goodness, Dr. Science, I'm out of breath. Hey, wait a second. Whoa, I haven't seen this experiment before. Dr. Science, you gotta show me how to do this one. I wanna head that big too. Ah yes, uh, look at me. Dr. Science has a huge, gigantic head. <laughs> I guess I must have mixed up those potions again. Uh, I hate it when that happens. Oh no, Dr. Science, what do we do? We need to save you. Ah, uh, don't worry. Uh, 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 it's rather simple. You just let the air out of your balloon really fast. All right, here I go. One, two, three. Oh, whoa. Oh, I, I'm just a little dizzy. <laughs> but I'm all right. Uh, don't you worry about a thing. You go ahead and have a seat, Ellie. Yes. Uh, Dr. Science will uh, work on that balloon experiment again sometime. <laughs> You're so awesome, Dr. Science. Now that my head isn't a big hot air balloon anymore, let's take out your homework. Now I asked you to create your own science experiment to show the class. Now, who wants to go first? Me, 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 Jimmy first, Jimmy first. I have the best experiment to show you. This is the purple shirt experiment. When you mix the right potions together, it will turn your shirt the color purple. Ooh, the purple shirt experiment. Why don't you test your experiment on Ellie there? Cool. On me? I 
like the color of my shirt the way it is. Thank you very much. Don't worry, Ellie. All we have to do is follow Dr. Science's instructions. First, you take some blue potion, mix it with a red potion, and say the words, Jimmy, Jimmy. Then your shirt will change to the color purple. Well, I do also like the color purple, but I don't know. Okay, let's try it out. So, we take some blue potion, and some red potion, Mix it together. And say the words, Jimmy, Jimmy! Hey, what happened? Oh, no! Something feels different. And I look different, too. Well, of course you look different. That's because your shirt turned purple, you silly goose. See? My experiment worked. Just like you taught me, Dr. Science. Oh, wow. Great job, Jimmy. A plus for your purple shirt experiment. I can tell you've been studying hard. Now, how do you like your new purple shirt, Ellie? Wait a minute. I know why I feel different. Because now I'm a lot shorter and my mouth opens really wide. Whoops, uh, you're right, Ellie. I didn't notice that you turned into a puppet. <laughs> All I saw was your shirt turned purple. Hmm, my science potion may have worked a little too good, I guess. <laughs> oh, no! How am I going to turn back to myself? I have a gym class after that, and Miss Blue isn't going to be happy if I'm a puppet. Dr. Science, do you know how? Oh, uh, yes, uh, I thought I saw something in here. Uh... Uh, uh, oh yeah, uh, a purple monster, yes. Uh, oh yes, here it is, here it is. All right, you take your arms and you wave them around like this, and then you open your mouth and you say, ah. All right, here I go. Oh my goodness, I'm back to normal. Thanks, Dr. Science. Phew, that was a close one. Oh, just in time. Now I can show you another experiment I was working on. Oh, sorry, Jimmy. You hit the bell. That means we have to go to our next class. And I know you're going to like this one. We're playing basketball in gym. Basketball? Oh, man, my favorite. Let's go. Bye, Dr. Science. J Jimmy, Ellie, I, I've got so many other experiments to show you. Aren't you interested? I didn't show you my uh, unpoppable balloon, uh, my uh, melted ice cream lake, my uh, exploding volcano experiment. Come on back here. Come on. I have so many experiments. It's going to be awesome. Come on in, students. Welcome to class. Good morning, Miss Blue. All right, before we begin, let's take the attendance. Ellie, are you here? Here, Miss Blue. And Alex, are you here? I'm present, Miss Blue. And if you noticed, I was the first one to arrive in the classroom. Oh, yeah. And since you're such a great teacher, I brought you a small gift. A basket full of apples. Because one apple just isn't good enough for a teacher as nice as you. Oh, wow, Alex, that sure is a lot of apples. But I think this is one too many apples for me to eat all by myself. Perhaps we can share them after class during lunchtime. Okay, now to get started with class, I think that we should judge the silly hat contest. I can't wait to see how silly your hats are. Who's going to start first? Ooh, me, 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 me! I go first, I go first. Since I always follow the teacher's rules, my hat was made exactly how you said, Miss Blue. See, here's the word silly, and I can wear it on my head. It's a silly hat, just like what you asked for, Miss Blue, right? Well, that definitely is a silly hat, but I was expecting something a little more silly. Let's see what grade the silly meter gives your hat. Mm. 
Well done, Alex. The silly meter gives your hat two points. Now let's see what Ellie's hat is like. Well, my hat is a little bit different from Alex's. I made it. And it's one of my favorite animals, a pig with wings. You can even make the wings move. Like this. <laughs> a flying pig hat. Now that is a silly hat. <laughs> I can't wait to see what the silly meter says about your hat. <gasps> That's five silly points for you, Ellie. <laughs> I think your hat was so silly it broke the silly meter. <laughs> it's not even silly or funny. My hat was silly and funny. This isn't fair. Okay, class, time for our first lesson of the day. Rhymes. Rhymes are when two words have the same sounds at the end. For example, king rhymes with ring. The king bought a ring. Now here's one that's a little harder. Fountain rhymes with mountain. There's a fountain on top of the mountain. Now you have to tell me a short poem that rhymes. Who will start? I will. <coughs> this poem is called Miss Blue. Roses are red, violets are blue. And speaking of blue, Miss Blue is the smartest teacher in the whole wide world. And she is my hero. The end. Well, that was very nice, Alex. But your poem didn't exactly rhyme. Remember, rhymes are when they sound the same at the end. Ellie, what about your poem? My name is Ellie, and I like to eat cheese. I always mind my manners, so I always say, please. I say, please, can I have some cheese? Not please, can I have some peas? I don't like peas. I only like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ellie, what a wonderful poem. Not only did it rhyme, it was also super silly. A plus for you, Ellie. <laughs> well done. Oh, not again. I can't let Ellie keep doing better than me in class. Now that we've learned all about rhyming, it's time for our big spelling quiz. First question. What letter comes after S in the alphabet? Everyone write your answers down. Ooh, I got this. This is an easy one. The answer is the letter T. I think so too. The letter T. Are we right? Very good students. T comes after S in the alphabet. Now it's time to write down question two. I want you to use your favorite marker and write the word school. Uh-oh. Wait a second. My marker's all dried up. And it was the only marker I brought today. Oh, no. Hey, Alex, do you mind if I borrow one of your markers? Mine just dried up. Sorry, Ellie Sparkles, but I never let anyone borrow my markers. That's why you're supposed to bring extra markers for the test. But I promise I'll give it back to you after the test. Oh. Okay, everyone, time's up. Let's see your answers. Miss Blue, this was a hard one, but I know exactly how to spell it. C S C H O O L. School. Um, Miss Blue, my marker dried up in the middle of it after S C H. So that's what I wrote. Yes, 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 I got them all right. That's why I'm the best student in your class, Miss Blue. <laughs> oh, it's time for lunch. What a wonderful morning it was. Wow, we sure did a lot of things in class today, and now I'm super hungry. Lucky for me, I have my favorite lunch, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and some fruit. Oh, hello, Lee Sparkles. That was a great spelling test, wasn't it? Yes! Oh, what do you have for lunch? A peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Mm-hmm. 
Well, I have something much, much better. A blueberry ice cream sandwich. See, I told you my lunch was way better than... Oh no, my sandwich! It's, it's melted. I must have forgot to put the ice cream in the freezer. Oh, it's okay, Alex. You can share my lunch with me. I have another half of peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Miss Blue likes you more than me because you do everything right. Your silly hat was way sillier than mine, and your poem actually rhymed. Mm, you're upset about your hat? Well, I have a great idea. I'm really good at making things silly. And I have all these fruit. Maybe we can use my fruit to make your hat super silly. How does that sound? Yeah. Great <laughs> idea, Ellie Sparkles. Do you think you could teach me how to rhyme too? Of course. Well, let's get this hat all sillied up. The name of this poem is called My Friend Ellie. I have an awesome friend named Ellie. At lunch, we shared peanut butter and jelly. When I need help in school, I know a friend that's cool. My friend's name rhymes with belly. It's Ellie. Bravo, bravo, Alex. What a wonderful poem with wonderful rhymes. And this hat, this wonderful hat. It's covered in all sorts of fruits that I love. It's so silly. Oh my goodness, just look at it. A plus is for everyone. Oh wow, there's an orange on your hat, and a banana, a plum, grapes. And oh my goodness, do I see a watermelon in the back? Oh, oh my gosh, I've never even experienced 